Hi, it's me, Max T. Mouse, and I'm standing here in front of my new mouse mansion, and it's got three, well, two and a half floors, and it's pretty tall, because I'm just a little mouse. It's me, Max T. Mouse. Welcome to my new mouse mansion. I got it for Christmas last year from Santa. It took me six months to build. Plus, I had a lot of help with the carpentry and tiling and building because I am only a little tiny mouse. So I did get quite a bit of help. Now, I don't know which room you want to go in first, but the living room is right beside me here. And that's a real stone fireplace made with real stones. And I have a, a beautiful Christmas tree this year, my first big Christmas tree. And so far, looks like I got quite a few presents and Santa hasn't even been yet. And I had my chair, wing chairs, back chairs made special, because I am a special mouse. And I have a nice little bay window. I can sit in and read a book if I want. And there's a door on the side to go out onto my wraparound porch and a, and a swing. Every mouse needs a swing. Oh well, no, I'm just sitting out here on my porch swing, waiting for some more company to come by. I hope somebody comes by soon. It's getting a little chilly out here. I'm wearing my new Christmas vest that I just got this year. I kind of look like uh, Santa a little bit, don't you think? I'm swing. And now are you ready to go into the kitchen? Okay, this is my kitchen and I designed it. And see, I have a nice wood stove because I don't have electricity, by the way. But I do have water coming in from the lake into the kitchen sink. That's all. No, running, no, no other running water. My little kitchen that I designed, I built... The, the cupboard here with the eggs and the cheese on, that, that's a, a nice little um, cheese keeper that I got as a gift. And I built all the cupboards. And a nice wood stove to cook on. And I've been doing some baking and I made a gingerbread house for Christmas. And see what else is in there all kinds of neat stuff I got a nice blueberry pie made would you like some I'll have a little telephone there you have to crank it up it's an old one and I don't have electricity new be brass bed that I bought myself and a rocking chair and I picked all the colors out because I love blue and I've been writing a letter to Santa while I lay in bed at night, relaxing. Here's the letter I got from Santa. This is a letter from Santa Claus, not Santa Mouse. That's why the letter's so big, because it's from, from the really Santa. If I got one from Santa Mouse, it would be a little tiny letter, si same size as me. And I like to read books about cats. Because you got to be prepared when you're a mouse. Oh, you caught me in the tub. No, I'm only kidding. I'm just sitting here. <laughs> I'm just showing you my bathroom. And this, all the tiling was done from, I had somebody come all the way from Italy to do that. And I have no running water up here, so I have to bring it up with, in a bucket. And I have a, a nice Victorian throne that I ordered from a catalog. It has a little lid that lifts up and a pole chain. Of course, I have to empty it every now and then, which is a chore. And I'd say that's probably it for my bathroom. Not much in the bathroom. Oh, and my little reindeer slippers. Those are for when I get out of the tub, when I'm actually having a real bath. Spare bedroom, way up on the top floor. 
This is where my friends stay when they come come over and sleep overnight. And my cousin Victoria and my friend Rosie in Hampton Bear. That's where they sleep. Enchanted room. Actually, it's just a room with nothing in it right now. Except I got a little train to run around. But I haven't decided what I'm going to do with this room yet. Just have a fun room. That's all it is. Hi, right, now I'm in my art studio. This is my dream art studio. Isn't it gorgeous? I got a beautiful drafting table to work at to do all my artwork. A wraparound desk with my laptop computer. And I have a cell phone in here. And a nice little parlor stove to keep me warm in the winter when I'm working in here. And a rocker to sit on when to relax if I want to. It's just the most beautiful root art studio ever. Don't you think? Little paw prints on. I put it, I had it laying on the floor and then I walked all over it with ink on my feet. Up to the second floor. This is my little loft on my art studio. And I can come up here and read, or I like to knit, actually. Not too many boy mouses knit, but I enjoy knitting. It's very relaxing. And lots of books up there to read. It's just a nice, relaxing place to go. Or sometimes me and Hampton go up there and just chat. I'll check out the border on my wall, in, in my loft. It's cats. You can never be too prepared as a mouse. you got to keep an eye out all the time. Now you ready for the really exciting part of this house? I have underground parking! Here, here's my, this is my 1949 red Buick convertible that I like to ride around in, but not in the winter so much. My canoe that I go canoeing in, my little life jacket. Of course, every, you have to put your life jacket on when you go canoeing, you know, even if you're a mouse. Now I'm going to show you I got a letter from Santa this year, and I wrote two new books, and, and I have a DVD from last year that Grandpa Chris did for me. Here's the letter I got from Santa. This is a letter from Santa Claus, not Santa Mouse. That's why the letter's so big, because it's from, from the really Santa. If I got one from Santa Mouse, it would be a little tiny letter, si same size as me. Ah! Okay, the first book that you're looking at, the brown one, that's my new Christmas book. I worked on it for two years, and it's got I think it has 13 illustrations in it. It has a lot of illustrations. It took a long time to make. And the other book, the blue one, is... Oh, I didn't tell you what the Christmas book was about. It's about me getting ready for Christmas. How I get ready for Christmas. And my, my friend Crushy, he tells the story. But unfortunately, Crushy's passed away. He was very old. Now my other book is one I just finished in the summer, and it's called Rocky's Retreat. And it's about a black Labrador who lives at Rocky's Retreat, and he tells a story of how I come to rent a cottage at their place. And then I, there's lots of neat pictures in there of me canoeing and laying in the hammock, rest, resting, and all kinds of neat stuff. And there's a cat in the story too, with half a tail. And this is the video that Grandpa Chris made last, last Christmas. You should come over and see it sometime. I hope you enjoyed your tour of my mouse mansion. Come again.